it's your boy Axel back again for another video but in this one we're gonna be talking about um wait wait on just just let me get it just just a second these the Boa Sigmas Okay, so I know I said in the other video that I'll go out and get some real world experience before coming back to you. But we're all living in this alternate reality right now and that is just not going to happen. So let's go with what I know. I've been using the Boa Sigmas for about six weeks now, mostly on that sweet runway called my street. I have skated some short distances, but I'm heavily restricted by the $1600 social distancing fine that I could get. So I haven't skated that far. However, let's go through a couple of pros and cons that I've found using the Boa Sigmas over the past six weeks. Okay, so let's start off with a couple of pros. And the first pro for me was the combination of the offset Kegel style core and the 63mm width of the Sigmas meant that these wheels were super carvy. Like, super carvy. I'm not really into carving, but I found myself carving hard when I first used these wheels. I felt comfortable turning hard into each carve, so I just couldn't help myself. So if cruising and carving is your thing, then the Sigmas might be the wheel for you. So let's go to pro number two. Although the Sigmas are rated at 83A, they actually feel a lot softer to ride. They feel closer to a 78A, so the ride is actually very comfortable. Time will tell, but the expectation is with an 83A rating that these wheels will last a lot longer than other wheels that I have that are rated at 78A. Let's see how that one goes. Pro number three, and this was the true test for me. How do the wheels slide? Well, it took me three weeks to wear the Sigmas in, but once they were worn in, and as I was told by Boa, the wheels were golden. The extra grip that I have in the initiation meant that I felt comfortable carving hard into each slide. My favorite wheels are wheels that have a smooth initiation with less bite. And the Sigmas, my friend, have both of these attributes. Okay, so now for the cons. Um, okay, sorry, I've got to do dishes. Hold on, come along with me. So the first con for me would be the top speed, because you have to remember that the Sigmas are at 80 millimeter diameter. So my top speed was around 25 to 30 kilometers an hour. So if you're in a rush to get somewhere, then maybe use another set of wheels. Like there was this time that I was skating around my town and I saw this guy on his bicycle and I looked at him and I thought, man, I think this boy's gonna jack me from my board. So I tried to ride away and he followed me and it took me forever to lose him because I was going slow as. So the Sigmas are awesome if you've got the time to play with them. The second con for me would be the rebound. The Sigmas have a high rebound, which is good for normal riding. But when it comes to sliding, it makes it a little bouncy. It took three weeks of constant sliding before the rebound became less noticeable. Six weeks in, I can barely notice it at all. If you're doing short speed checks, then you won't really notice the rebound. However, if you take your board to 90 degrees and further, you'll definitely notice it. However, it does subside over time. For cruising, carving and sliding, the Boa Sigmas will not disappoint. I hope you enjoyed the review and you found the information both useful and entertaining. Hit me up in the comments if you have any more questions and make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace!